This is the culmination actually of our track and field event. We have five different sports here. It's track and field, bocce, powerlifting, volleyball, and uh, the athletes have really been looking forward to this. They participate at a lower level of competition at their parish, at their area, and they work their way. They have to earn their way to state summer games. I really do enjoy competing because it's awesome to compete against athletes, it really is. say 8 to 80 but you know we have a young athlete program now and we are offering ages 2 through 7 an opportunity to participate and having been an educator I know how important it is for those early years to have motor skills training and that's what our program does for them. It's the Olympics for our Special Olympics athletes. They look so forward to this and you know, many people think that Special Olympics is just a sports organization, but we're more than that, so much more. One of the things that the athletes look forward to is seeing their friends when they come here. Some of them may not have many opportunities to interact with their friends because they've made friends all over our state now. And they really look forward to coming here. And you know, another thing that we do in Special Olympics that a lot of people do not realize we actually build self-esteem in our athletes and because we build that confidence, they are able to actually get jobs. 50% more of our Special Olympics athletes have jobs than do their counterparts who are not in Special Olympics. Special Olympics like, means a lot to me. It means a lot to the athletes, it means a lot to people who are close to it. It means a lot to everyone, not just me. So. Well, back in the mid-80s, uh, law enforcement began a torch run. And the torch run was a, a way for police officers to give back to the community. It was our way of saying, you know what, we're here protecting and serving, but we also want to help out. And this was an, a way for us to do it. And by starting the torch run, we're able to do that for the uh, special athletes. These officers internationally raise money for Special Olympics. And here in Louisiana, they run all over the state of Louisiana. They've been doing that this week. And we have been this morning on the steps of the Capitol. So from Shreveport, Lake Charles, New Orleans, they've been running. They've gone to Baton Rouge, and now they've made their way here to Southeastern Louisiana University. And tonight, those officers are going to walk into the stadium and light the flame of hope, which is going to be fantastic. This is identical to the Olympics. I mean, and to these special Olympic athletes, it is the Olympics. This means more to them than anything. And uh, it, it's an honor for us to be able to take this torch. And this all started in Shreveport last uh, Monday, Tuesday and uh, has ended up here. So we've had a lot of run in here the past week, but uh, it was well worth it. You know, it's, it's a way to give back, but uh, it's also uh, a part of your heart. You know, it, it gets in your heart to see these athletes, to see how much time and effort they put into it. And, and you really want to support them, and it just makes you feel good. It's a feel good thing. Thank you. 